All right, so it's been a while since I did one of these videos. This is going to be the full tutorial in installing Game Hub, installing Steam inside of Game Hub, as well as you know running a game inside of Steam inside of Game Hub. So this is start to finish. Uh, the only thing that I cut out was the importing a non-Steam game into Steam, which is pretty self-explanatory. I have that in some of these other videos, but if you want to watch this full video, great. If you need some of these chapters, they're going to be here as well, so you can jump to the part you need to see. And then we have some um, gameplay, which, you know, this was requested, so I figured I'd give it a shot, and it, it runs pretty good. The only problem is... I'm not sure how the controls are bound. I was struggling with it, but I, I did figure some of it out. But anyway, check this video out. I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that sub button for me. All right, so here I like to extract Steam into a folder that I have all my PC games and things like that in. So I generally make a folder inside of my documents called games and PC. Um, but as you see, that's where I'm extracting my Steam into. And that's where I'm going to go into Game Hub and import it from. So just pretty easy there for me to actually discover it, know where everything is and have it organized. All right, so now that we got that imported, I'm going to go in here and copy the full command out of the one bat that's inside of the Steam folder. So I'm going to copy the whole thing, and I'm just going to replace what GameHub had put in there just to make sure that there's nothing missing in the command. So I generally just do that as a, as a good rule of measure. Alright, so all of those settings are what I use to log into Steam. Now, I can't play games like this. I wish I could, but you got to disable the X input and the D input um, to log in. And for some reason, I can't log in whenever I use the uh, same settings that I use to you know, play games on. So, this is what I use to log in. And after that, I'll set up uh, Steam and then I'll close it and then I'll change the settings to where I can play games. All right, now that we're this far, if you got to type in your password, I highly recommend putting up the keyboard overlay and holding shift anytime you need to use a capital letter. Otherwise, it will say your password is incorrect, but it's easier to use the QR code, so you can also do that as well.
All right, and this is the settings that I use to play games. Most of the games will run just fine. Sometimes you have to modify a few things inside of here, like the strong memory, but this is a good rule of thumb to start with most games. And I'm going to go ahead and pull up my overlays that I generally use on most of these games. Yes, this is a root module, uh, but I like the way these overlays look. So I get my temperatures and, you know, the GPU, CPU loads and things like that. So that's what I use. It's called Scene if you want to look it up and read more into it. And just to make sure that the controller is going to work in this, I'm going to enable Steam input. Because when I tried this, tried to play this game without Steam, I could not get any input whatsoever from a controller or the touchscreen. So I'm going to go ahead and enable the Steam input and just make sure it's set up good. And right here, I know it's going to work. It looks good. I see, you know, it's loading. I see the DivX hub and everything. So, very positive. There we go. I can look like a lumberjack. Let's let's go with that. So Let's go ahead and get this in the game, and then I'll show you what I mean about the controls. I, it took me a little bit to figure out how to manage, but, you know, I just don't know how these controllers are mapped, or I need to find a guide or watch a guide on how to map it properly so it actually plays better. So here, I just feel like I'm always trying to punch something. I don't quite understand why. Um, and yeah, it says vault, so I can vault over things. Um, but I'm always in a fighting mode, so it's a little weird. Um, eventually, I figured out I can run up and hit my trigger button. 
Um, sometimes I can move bodies. Uh, sometimes it's, it'll be on the right thing and I can hit my A button and, you know, inspect them, loot them, find things, uh, enter cars. I just, I was struggling. I, I'd have to hit the buttons multiple times to get, do what I wanted. I don't know if there's a mapping issue, or keybind issue, or if it was a Steam input issue, but at least the controller is working to a degree. And I was able, able to get around, but I'm sure someone else, one of you guys, probably have a better way of making this work, or I'm just really dumb when it comes to this setup, so. But, if you have a fix, please drop it in the comments for the keybind. One of you requested this game, so here it is. It's running pretty good, you know. Um, right now it's averaging around 40 FPS, so pretty solid.